When we learn a new motor skill, the brain undergoes a number of changes. FMRI studies show blood flow increasing to large areas of the cortex involved in the task. The excitability of neurons distant to these regions heightens. And after weeks of practice, certain cortical maps representing the body parts being used enlarge to include adjacent previously uninvolved areas. These findings suggest a process we call plasticity, the brain's ability to change in response to our experiences, its ability to learn. The supplementary motor area, also known as SMA, and the primary motor cortex, also known as M1, are the main areas involved in task learning. A highway of neural connections carries information from SMA to M1. However, many of these pathways are inhibited by signals from local GABAergic neurons that synapse densely around pyramidal cell bodies in M1. But disinhibition can occur. With focused repetition of a motor task, high-frequency activity is induced in thalamic projections to M1. And if input from SMA arrives at the same time, these inhibitory signals to the excitatory pyramidal cells of M1 diminish. Pathways once latent now activate the caudal part of SMA. And as practice of the task continues, activation spreads to the rostral area. Meanwhile, changes are also taking place in M1. Within M1, sprouting at axons and dendrites creates new synapses or strengthens existing neuronal connections, resulting in greater complexity of the effective neuronal network. Those pathways less used may be weakened through long-term depression, while those used most frequently may be strengthened through long-term potentiation. Several weeks of practice reveal growing representations of the body parts being used. Their boundaries, once considered static, begin to show overlap. As proficiency at the task increases, unnecessary neurons become inhibited. Cortical areas in M1, once enlarged, shrink to optimal sizes, and activation in SMA decreases. The brain is finding the most efficient use of space and neurons, and the student is learning to master the skill. In the young pianist learning a piece, as in the recovering amputee reacquiring an old skill, research is uncovering similar plastic mechanisms at play knowledge of which we may one day use to speed recovery from injury and disease, and with some persistence, even surmount disorders of memory and learning. Mm -hmm.